Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette Marie if you're new here. This video is going to be a review of the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. And I was sent this by Influencer. So thank you so much to Influencer for sending this to me so I can try it out. And this is the card that came with it. This is again Shiseido and that's what the powder foundation looks like. So if you guys want to see how um, this foundation worked out for me, how it applied, uh, then keep on watching. So as mentioned, Influencer sent me the Shiseido Synchro Skin Health Refreshing uh, Custom Finish Powder Foundation. And um, it came in this box. And then um, this is the palette. Oops, the little plastic thing came out. This is the palette. Comes with a mirror in it. And I'm going to go ahead and test this out. And I'm not sure if that color is going to fit me. It looks a little bit too light, but let's try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and use the little applicator that it comes with. Pick some up on here. So let's see which side to use first. So this is a medium coverage, natural finish, 24 hour wear, apply wet or dry, active force technology, resists heat, humidity, oil, and facial movement. So, um, it's breathable, blendable, and buildable coverage with a multi-dimensional effect that looks and feels like bare skin. So I'm going to apply it dry. So for the wet use, you use the black side of the sponge if you want to apply it wet. If you want to apply it uh, like a powder, a dry powder, then use the white side. So I'm going to use the white side. should have read that before I applied it. Oh, wow. Okay. I can already see that it covered the redness on my face. Now, I, all I had was my normal moisturizer on. You guys, I didn't prime my face. I didn't do anything else to it. Didn't apply anything else to it. I'm just applying the powder. And I'm applying it to one side of my face. It is pretty light. don't think it really fits my... Uh, matches my skin tone, but... I'm going to apply it to half my face so you guys can see the difference. So this is one side of the face. I hope you guys can see. Yeah, you can see that. Look, at I have redness right here and everywhere else. And this is just one side of the face that I applied the foundation. So far, I really like it. If I go up close, you can still see a little bit of my discoloration underneath. But it does say it's a sheer buildable coverage. And that's what the box says. The little card said it was medium coverage, but it's actually sheer to medium coverage. And it is uh, a little sheer, but I can always apply um, a little bit more to see what it looks like. And I'm just going to press it into the skin. Maybe this will help. Okay, I like that it doesn't settle into my fine lines right here so I don't look dry. Because my under eyes are super dry. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna apply the rest of it to my face. And I'm just gonna press it in. Okay, so I added a little bit more into uh, underneath my eyes. It doesn't, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's best if you put concealer or a color corrector if you have dark circles like I do. Um, but it, this feels really nice on the skin. I haven't tried this wet, so I think I'm going to give it a go and I'll update you guys in the description box down below. Uh, but so far, I really like the way this feels. It feels comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, actually, it doesn't feel heavy at all 
feels like I'm not wearing anything. It's really great and it did cover some of the areas where I had uh, redness and discoloration. You can still see a little bit of my flaws peeking through, but like it says, it is sheer to medium coverage and it is a medium coverage, uh, depending on how much you put on. And like I said, I haven't tried it wet, so maybe I'll get more coverage if I try it wet. But so far, I like it. I will update you guys in the description box to see how it wears. It says 24 hour wear um, on the box, but I mean, I'm not gonna wear my <laughs> powder for 24 hours. I'll keep it on for a few hours. And I didn't put a primer on before this. I just had my normal moisturizer, which I use the CeraVe AM moisturizer. And I had some eye cream. That's the CeraVe eye cream. So I, I didn't change anything different. I didn't do anything different. I didn't apply any primer. Just wanted to apply this powder to see how it worked and how it apply to the skin without a primer and see how it wears. So like I said, I'll update you guys in the description box down below and let you know if I like this or how long this lasted, if I got oily in my T-zone. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like this video um, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload uh, videos like this. Thanks, see you guys in my next video, bye.